Hey everyone, in this video, we shall learn how to install a Zabbix agent on a Windows server. First, we will go ahead and open our Windows machine and then open a browser on it and go on to zabbix.com slash download and click Zabbix agents and then select our Zabbix version and select either of these encryptions and select the MSI package if you want to install with an installer file like clicking next next or you can do through the CLI by downloading through an archive file. Let's go ahead and do it through the archive file and then click download. Once the file has been downloaded, open it and extract it. Once you've extracted it, you can just rename it as Zabbix and copy the Zabbix folder and paste it on C drive. Once you have pasted it on the C drive, open PowerShell or command prompt via an administrator. Right click, run as administrator. And then basically you need to copy the path of your Zabbix agent. and then hyphen C and copy the path of your Zabbix configuration file. And then hyphen hyphen install. Once the agent has been installed, go ahead and open your configuration file through a notepad or wordpad and enter your Zabbix server details and the host name which you want to see on the front end. So we need to edit the server line and the server active line with port 10051. And then on the host name, enter your host name. I'll call it as Windows Server 2022. And I'll go ahead and close the file and save it. And then on the command prompt itself, I will type services.msc. And then I will choose the Zabbix agent and I will start it. Once I've started the Zabbix agent, I will go ahead and open my Zabbix server front end console and go on to configuration and hosts. I will go ahead and create a host and I will write the host name as Windows Server 2022, just the way I wrote on the Zabbix agent config file. Also, I will add my Windows Server IP over here. And I'll add it in one of the groups as per my liking. And then I will choose templates and then search for Windows template. And then I will go ahead and add it. Once the host has been added, I will go ahead and search it and then click on latest data to check the latest data. As you can see, already the data has started coming on on this 
host. We shall wait for a few more minutes for the other parameters to get populated as well. We need to wait up till a maximum of five minutes. And as you can see, the latest data has started to come for all the items for this host. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.